welcome to Sayuki Podcast. Our topic today, of course, is our first impressions of the Sayuki Reload Blast anime. And again, I'm Thulu, so it's good to have you here. And with me, I have... It's me, Nikki. I'm back for another fun, exciting edition of the Sayuki Podcast. And and today is really exciting. This might be a little disjointed because we're we're super jazzed and, and geeked. At least I am. I'm super. Uh, I'm bouncing no. in my chair. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm 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 pretty excited. I mean, we've been waiting a year for this. Like yeah. we found out a year ago, the anime was happening, and. Uh, I, I think for a lot of people, it's super exciting. The only the only problem is is that we some people have to wait a day for you know to see it. But we got lucky; we managed to see Crunchyroll is simulcasting the anime, and by simulcast, I mean literally. I think the anime came out thirty minutes after it came out in Japan. Yeah, as soon as we were, it was interesting though because people were so hyped. They were on Twitter grabbing screenshots of people in Japan posting things and then mm -hmm. we had a countdown going it was it's a whole deal so I, I'm so excited that Crunchyroll got it because they're one of my favorites for streaming things um, I've had issues Same. with some of the other people so this is some of the other companies so I'm big fan super excited Crunchyroll is is pushing hard on it too they've been tweeting it out doing posts on it and trying to hype it up which which is great so thank you Crunchyroll for picking this yes up. bless you Crunchyroll yes, yes. yes. so yeah do you want to just dive in we have a little I, outline here of I think we should talk totally about? dive in yeah all right you take it away okay so um we're going to be a little bit more uh or we're gonna be a little what well, we're gonna be as, as organized as possible. So first thing we're going to discuss is the story. The, basically, did it faithfully adapt the manga, or did it omit or add anything? Yeah, I mean, for the first episode, if I should have gone back and reread the first chapter or so. I think it was just the first chapter, right? It was. Just, I skimmed a little bit of the first chapter before before the episode. It's pretty faithful. The I'm only, the kidding. only, the only thing that was slightly different was, of course, the ending, which we'll get to that in a little bit. Right, like the ending with the you know the two people who showed up. But for the most part, it was pretty faithful. I, I mean, the only thing that I, the only thing I could see that was really added was the fact that um, the guys did a uh, rock paper scissors game that was not in the manga. Right, but that's something. It just seems so typical. Sayuki it works. That that's that's how they yeah. are. It's not so, like they threw something in there just for fluff. It's like, okay, this is something they normally do. So yes, it's I'm yeah. totally fine with that. But I I think everything that was in there, I don't think they omitted anything. They only really added to it a little bit, which is really yeah. Cool. I was pretty excited. I really thought. Well, I'll, that's in the animation section, so I'll get to that. But okay. I think they did a really good job. Honestly, I'm very happy with the first episode in that regard, story wise. I, I'm excited. I think, though, I want to see what the next episode is because this wasn't my favorite chapter in Blast. To yeah, be honest, me it's, it's your it's your standard introduction. These are our dudes. This is what their world is like. So it wasn't like it's just your 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 obligatory explanation episode, which is kind of necessary because a lot of people have already said, I don't know anything about this series, so you kind of need it. Uh, absolutely. And we should probably just say, yeah, we're talking about the first episode. There might be some spoilers in here. I mean, it's not really a spoilery episode, though, like you said. It's here's the intro, like, hey, our boys are back. They're now in Tibet. Here's uh, them doing their thing that they usually do. Um, you know, on the off days when they're not fighting uh, crazy protagonists that goes for multiple arcs, right? It's like, here's their just day-to-day -day sort of thing going on. Yeah, and um, there's not really, like, too much. They basically just say, you know, like, they travel, and of course, you know, the, the people in the village were like, you know, oh, it's the Sanzo party, and how they leave a corpse, or they leave a, a what's the word I'm looking for? They leave like, the, like a trail a, of a trail of bodies. Thank yeah, you. They yeah. leave like a trail of so they, you know, basically hyping up, hyping them up as these like crazy strong guys who you know are yokai killers and all that <laughs> stuff, and you know, just showing off that these guys are pretty pretty badass, basically. Right, and I also like the part too, the the du the duality part of it, which is it's a reoccurring thing in Soki where 
the villagers will have an impression of, oh, it's the pious Sanzo, and he's so he's so great and uh, holy and this and that, and then he shows up and they're dirty and foul mouthed and just how they are, right? So it's, it's always one, interesting to see. This one was a little different though because they were more along the lines of why did you let these foreigners? Like, yeah, we know it's a Sanzo priest, but you know, <laughs> right? But that's true. One, yeah, this village felt a little different from the past ones because in most cases they're like, oh, save us from the yokai. This one they were like, yeah, uh -uh, it's six o'clock. You guys beat it. You get yeah. out of here. Who are these dirty guys? They stink. Why do we have to feed them? Yeah, the whole deal. Uh, but it was interesting. They kind of brought it back around at the end when they went, oh, yeah, it's those guys. Do you remember? We were supposed to <laughs> you think they're really big shots and they're here to help us out. Like, what? Are we, what's our deal, right? So, yeah, didn't know. the yokai even mention, like, oh, we thought they were dead? <laughs> they uh, even mentioned I, that because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, where are these guys? Yeah, they haven't, they're out in a mountain starving somewhere. Like, hold on, they'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so story wise, like you said, it was just really an introductory or reintroduction of the characters after them having some really rough travel. Yeah. They're dirty, they're stanky, and but hungry. they they're awesome and they're hungry um and they save the day essentially which is good and i will say one thing mm -hmm. that i think the reason why this wasn't like a strong episode was like i feel like i feel some empathy towards like the main girl like well she's not really a main but the girl that kind of causes the problem but like i'm kind of like uh like i felt it wasn't like the strongest chapter but oh, i'm yeah. hoping i'm hoping that the rest that. of this series will shine through right but really it's faithful to the chapter the chapter is just yes. like that so yeah oh you, yeah you no, don't no, have no. time to get to know the character you just get a little blip into their life of oh she her husband died from yokai and now she's kind of loopy right that's all you really know about her yeah. Other than that, though, really, I think it's pretty solid for. I will. I will say, if I if I had to compare uh, in terms of strongness, this was definitely a stronger opening compared to like Reload. Oh the well. Like the, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Anyway, so uh, so we both. I think we both agree that they did a good job adapting the manga. Agreed. And... Uh, oh oh, they did add something though. Oh, are we gonna talk about the little bit at the end now? Yeah, because they they did yeah. add something that was. It's the best thing. No, no, no. Too. Oh, wait, no, no. Not the, not, not that thing. The two oh, characters. Actually, the no, end. no. We talk about that in a minute. No, no, not the end. And yeah. no, no. <laughs> Hold we'll your talk, horses. We'll talk about that soon. Hold, Hold your horses. Yes. <laughs> Be still, my heart. We will get there soon. Okay. All right. Um, Do it. We had think. two characters show up. Uh, Tarushi and Sai. Apparently, it's not Sai Taisui. It's Sai Tai Sai. Sai Tai Sai. It's Sai Tai Sai. I'm sorry. I, I opened my prelude book. And confirmed it. His name is not Sai Tai Su, which is a little disappointing because I kind of like this tone. But it's Sai Tai Sai, which is fine. And and now the interesting thing is they call her Talshi in the in the dub, but the book it's Tarushi. So I'm going to keep calling her Tarushi. Um, but they showed up at the end, and they're very mysterious characters. We don't even in the manga we don't really know too much about them yet. I and mean, we know yeah. a little bit, but we're not going to spoil what we know. We'll leave that for the for next a latter one. Yep. Yeah, I but they showed up at the end, and it's a little ominous. Yeah, that's, that's I did like that. It was really good that they did it at the end versus the beginning of the episode. I think it would have minimized it quite a bit if they had flipped the order on that. Yeah. So I like that. Like, leave it off with a little, oh, you, you dangle the carrot a little bit. Like, oh, what's going on with these people? What are, what's, what's their deal? What does she know, right? So... I'm yeah, excited. it was funny because, like, when the episode ended, I'm like, oh, look, it's your stereotypical. They drive off into this. Oh, wait a minute. Mm, oh. Yeah. I well, like, I thought that's how it was going to end, too, is they had the sun is in the west and they're driving towards the sunset. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is total prototypical episode ending for them. Oh, no. Nope, yeah. So that was a good little addition. Yeah. So let's move on to the music. Um, I won't lie, I didn't really like. I only watched it once, so I don't remember most of the music during the episode. But I did like. I still really like the opening. 
I I was listening to the music and I thought it was rad. I was super excited. It wasn't that weird synthy stuff that they had oh, going God. on in Reload and Gunlock or whatever Ooh. fail oh. lock uh, had <laughs> going on. But yeah, they had like orchestral stuff. There was piano stuff. When they were fighting, I was like all pumped up. So I did uh, recognize that. It was really cool. Uh, the, the music that they were using throughout the episode, I was pretty excited for. The opening was great. I love the opening song. I mean, we've heard it before, but with the actual opening animation and everything, it was really fun. I I liked it a lot. The ending, I need to listen to the ending again. It didn't leave a big impression on me. I was paying more attention to what was going on on screen and not really listening yeah. to the music. But uh yeah, I, I didn't have a bad impression of the luck life ending. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm digging both. I'm, I'm digging both. Um, but the Grand Rodeo I, opening is like super hype, which I, I'm into. It's yeah. Perfect. I think, I think we know for a fact this series is going to be much better than Reload. And I think the reason for that is, as we know, Gensamadin's opening has the guys wearing suits. <laughs> yes. And in this opening, we have uh, we have like an entire scenario of the guys wearing suits. Yeah, it was modern AU Sayuki, which I'm all about. So yes, thank I'm you. I'm cool with this. Yeah, I'm Plat down with that. Platviz, they uh. they're definitely appealing to the audience because there's something else that they do. Will this be anime? I guess it's under animation. So yeah, I'll we're just on. we'll just key into it. It's fine here. We're good. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, so what did they do, Nikki? Uh, they added blood? Yes, yes, they um, did. Something, something that they were afraid to do in Gensamon, in which they just had the characters disintegrate. Disintegrating, And yes. then in Relock, it was basically, like, wine stains. Yeah, it was not good, and everything was, like, the colors in Relock were all desaturated and weird-looking mm -hmm. anyway, but, uh, honestly... <laughs> This is, I'm so geeked right now. I was so pumped for the gore. And I know that's a weird thing to say because you're like, oh, it's you Sayuki, like the gore? Though. But it's I, like, it's Sayuki, and that's what Sayuki, and Sayuki's not about the gore, but it's, there is gore involved, and the fighting is, is brutal. And they actually did show the brutality. Like, when Sansa shoots a guy, like, his head explodes, and the, there's the gunshot sound, and it actually sounds like a gun, and. Oh, it's visceral. And I was I was so lit. I was so lit for that. <laughs> Honestly, like, yes! And Shakujo is just, like, chopping off body parts. Yeah, like, no, ah. it's brutal. It is yes. brutal, dude. <laughs> it is brutal, but they actually showed it. And I was, I was, I was thinking, yes, they would because they had showed things in the preview, but they r didn't hold back at all. And I was so hyped for that. Honestly. So they did a great job. The fight sequences in general, in terms of animation, I thought were great. Um, like, they really were fluid. I mean, you're, you know more about animation than I do, but I felt, when I was watching, I went, oh, wow, it's, I, I really liked how they animated Noibo, for example. It looked really awesome. It, like, wobbled at points. It was kind of cool. Yeah, no, I think they did pretty good with the animation. Like, I'm, I, I'm not, like, the problem was that I watched it, like, I've been watching other animes, and I saw myself, no, oh, this is... So, Minakura style is so hard to animate, and I think they did a pretty darn good job with the animation. It's definitely heavily stylized. Like, it's not like they took Minakura, Minakura's art, like, right from the page and then animated it somehow. Like, they definitely put their own spin on it. I did see, you know, from time to time, the, the models and things like, were weaker in some shots than they were in others, but... I felt like the, the motion was pretty fluid. Things were moving along pretty well. I think it helped that they had effects where they made it so that things felt like they had an impact. So if somebody punched someone or hit somebody with Noibo or shot somebody, like the screen shook and then there was like other visual effects going on that yeah. made it seem very impactful, um, which is pretty cool. But I actually found that when things weren't moving a lot, when it's just characters talking or more calm scenes that the consistency wasn't always there like some shots look better than other shots but um overall i was pretty happy yeah i would i i personally am much i'm much more okay with them kind of ma making their own style with it and owning it 
Right. Versus that's... trying to emulate it and then it having that weird uncanny valley situation where you go, okay, well, I'm trying to copy, but then you yeah, can't we... copy her style. Like, don't We've stop. seen that too often. Yeah. I think Guided was a really great example of that weird zone. And because maybe, yeah it was an odd animation in some spots yeah they they took her style a little bit too far and it just got too angular this one it softens them a little bit they're mm -hmm. not as angular but i really like it i i feel like this is good because one thing that they did was they were they kept her expressions like she does some yes. really silly expressions like goku freaking out about the quote-unquote ghost and um the silly the silly faces that they that well it's mostly just goku making silly faces but they <laughs> but they did a good job of um you know keeping those expressions in mm -hmm. and i thought that was really nice yeah i thought they did a really good job there were some shots that were close-ups on the eyes um goku in particular he had a few shots where they they kind of zoomed in on his eyes true to to um where they kind of had this almost internal glow about yeah. them. It was very, um, I can't think of the word. Um, yeah, kind of ethereal look to it, which was really cool. I thought how, how they pulled it off. And then Sanzo, in one of the fight sequences, yes, I actually yes. noticed that too. His eyes almost looked like they were glowing. So I thought they yeah. did a really cool job in general with the eyes. And then I also noticed Hakai's eyes. Um, and I knew this from the the art that they had already put out, but they had adjusted his eye color to match what Minikir is doing for him now versus mm -hmm. against a modern where it was more of this kind of like emerald green color. Yeah. It's more that blue color. So I was like, oh, they got that updated and it looks really good. I mean, Gojo looks great too. They all do really. But the eyes, the, I really like yeah. the eyes. That scene you mentioned with Sanzo, and like when I, that that scene really, I don't know why it resonated with me, but they were talking about Sanzo like he was almost godly. They're like a priest with, you know, golden hair and purple eyes. And his eyes just look, just, he almost looked possessed. It was mm -hmm. really kind of strange, but it was also kind of beautiful in a way. Yeah, it was really well done. It, it definitely made the scene more impactful, which was great. That's like my word of the day. Impactful. Hype. Impactful. Lit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, it was good stuff. I do know um, some people will probably complain about this, but there is a bit of inconsistency on Goku where sometimes he looks really young and sometimes mm -hmm. he looks a little older. I think, though, in a way, though, it's for me personally, it's not too much of an issue because if you read the Sayuki manga, Goku has moments where he his face has gotten chubbier looking. Minakura is kind of her style's evolved, and Goku does look younger in the manga. Yeah, I. I didn't have any problems with it personally. I I think he looks fine. Like he, uh, I mean, he definitely looks like a, a grown you know young man in some of the shots that they they put in there, especially in the what was the ending? Shot? Yeah, can we can we say <laughs> can we just say Platinum Vision? I believe is trying to make Goku seem like a nudist. Uh, yeah, I think so too. <laughs> and it was so like the scene. Okay. <laughs> So I reread the manga a little bit after. There's a scene in the episode um, where Goku and Gojo are bathing together, mm -hmm. and the the this girl pops up in the window, and they freak out, and they run outside to go see what's going on. <laughs> yeah. In the manga, it's not obvious, but in the anime, it's very obvious. They ran outside with. Sanzo and Hawkeye and then they have this whole conversation about this singing girl and the whole time I'm thinking wait a minute they ran outside are they not wearing any pants are they <laughs> and then and then sure enough a few minutes later after the whole exposition thing Sanzo goes hey Goku, Gojo, why don't you go put some clothes on? That's and then the people in the village are like, you know, whispering and blushing. And I'm yeah. like, oh my god, to to be in that village at that moment. <laughs> well, I just love it. You have the little old biddies like, oh, this is the problem with foreigners. <laughs> these yeah, two right, guys gosh. are standing naked in the middle of the street. What are yeah. these people from Cheyenne doing? Gosh, yeah, this is what do they the... do over there back in the but... east? <laughs> But yeah, in the ending, there's a there's a there's a frame. Okay, so the ending is basically just still frames, which is fine because there's a lot of really cute ones. Like there's burial stuff, mm -hmm. but um, there's this one part where the guys are at, at like a pond or a river, and 
uh, Goku and Gojo are splashing around and, you know, being bros and Hawkeye is smiling and watching and Sansa's ignoring them as usual. You know, hot, and you see Gojo's Just for some bros, reason. Yeah. Yeah, for totally being bros with, you know, sparkles. Don't forget there's sparkles. Yeah, there were sparkles. There, there were sparkles. This, this also proves that this is, this anime is clearly going to be a success. It's going Spark places. Yeah. It's going places. Plat viz. <laughs> keep doing what you do but anyway so they're in there you know they're splashing around the water for some reason you know gojo is wearing his pants in the water that's fine okay whatever. goku as it zooms out it becomes more and more obvious that goku is butt naked <laughs> goku oh, platt is with the fan service oh my gosh Keep zooming and you think, <laughs> okay, you're gonna see a hint of boxers. No, nope, no, nope, nothing, no, nope. nothing. And then it, it changes scenes. I'm like, oh my god, they're but, turning Goku into a nudist. <laughs> but you know what, Goku, you, you do you, you do you. Hey, you know what, just be it, free. He's got the body. He may as well show it off, right? <laughs> Just be free, honestly. They had some stuff in the in the opening too. I actually was uh, I was going, oh whoa, whoa! Look at those abs, you know. And that's not something I was trying to like focus on. They're just there. They're in your face. No, no, they're just there. They're all in with the fan service. I mean, I actually appreciate that because it's kind of a throwback to. The Genzamaden, because yes. they did some fun stuff with that, but they went a lot further in Genzamaden. There's bondage, dude. Yeah, I was half ex stuff. Yeah, I was half expecting the opening to have a scene where they're chained up in leather outfits. I was like, <laughs> they're already doing the Genzo callbacks. I was waiting. We need it for, for it. nostalgia reasons. Plat uh, No, they Plat did a great job. Please. Anime of the year, right there. Yeah. <laughs> Anime of the year, based on fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, the fact that Gojo is like practically there's this one scene where Gojo is hanging on Goku, and it looks like he's whispering in his ear. <laughs> oh gosh, I I don't know. It's still still not uh, not as so much as Genzo went, but. Definitely. It's like I don't the think classier they, fan service, you know? I don't think they could get away with what Genso did. Genso was sh the shippiest thing. They were, they basically sailed the ship for the fans. The fans joined in, and the ship was already, like, people were jumping <laughs> on. Like, hey, ship wait, wait! <laughs> wait, where are you going? Like, the ship was like, come on, we don't have time. You better jump off that pier. We are leaving. We are, That's we have right. places to go, man. Um, yeah, no, I appreciated that. I thought that yeah, so the opening, the ending, just the whole thing. I don't know. It, it was fun. It was fun. I think that was the, my biggest impression was that it was fun. And I think Sayuki, Sayuki can be angsty and story-driven and all of those things. But it's always been fun. And so I was really happy that that's the impression I got was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and in terms of fluidity like we mentioned earlier i think i think what they do is what most animes do and they save their budget to have a couple like really good fight scenes and the most and and the rest of it's pretty much like you know like your general pan shots and stuff but overall it was pretty good yeah, yeah like, there was this one part though that i thought was really cute where goku was was lying down the futon he was really excited oh, like hey, yes that, that was so and then, adorable and jeep and, too yeah, and then Gojo was, like, Goku sat up to talk to the guys, and Gojo, like, just slammed a pillow in his face. Yes. It's, I was like, their relationship oh right there. Yeah, they're, 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 they're brothers, they're and they brothers, fight all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I, I adore that. I thought, I, when I saw that, I went, oh my gosh, so cute, so adorable, just so pure. Thank you for this. Yeah. Um, and then they showed Jeep, I think that was the first shot that they showed of Haku. Yeah. Uh, not transformed. And of course, it's covered up by subtitles. So I actually went back and turned the subtitles off so I could see him, you know, untransformed. And I'm, he's great. I love his model. They did a really great job yeah. in that particular shot. I went in there in like the inn or whatever. But uh, yeah, it was good. You want to talk about the other ending edition? Um, I think we should. So. Yeah. For those that, for those who are uninformed or the uninitiated, uh, Sayuki Reload had something at the end of each episode called Urasai, which is funny because it's a pun on shut up. But um, <laughs> the um, Urasais basically were short, like like thirty second little um, 
like not, I don't know what to call them, but like little mini scenes, and like they had silly ones like like uh, Hawkeye making little scarves and things like that. Anyway, they were really cute. Well, Gunlock. This is probably why Gunlock failed. Gunlock did not have the Earth size. The only were, reason it failed, but I mean, one of the reasons. Yeah, we'll save that salt. Well, we already had that salt. So. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll just we'll just keep a little salt shaker. Yeah, in the pool sometimes you just have to break it out. But today is yeah. not that day. Yeah, yes. no, we're still super excited. <laughs> no, the reason Urasai is back. It's back, baby. I'm so Dude, excited. not only that, we got like two Urasais, I think. Yeah, I they was did it was my dad. like two and one. I was actually. Literally, I banged my desk when I saw that little pop up. Went, wait, wait, is that what I think it is? Because there was a hint, and we talked about it in our other podcast that there was a hint in a magazine that it might be coming back, but we weren't quite sure. And so when that confirmed it, I yeah, I was so excited, and it was a really cute one too. Do you want to talk about it? Yeah. Uh, so basically, it starts off with Goku singing or humming or something, and then they talk about it's like the Star Festival, and he's he's got like a tree, and he goes and he he puts up. Um, They're hanging their oh, wishes on it. Yeah, it's yeah. little wishes, and I think Goku's was you know obviously food related, and um, I think if I recall, uh, Gojo's was debauchery. Yep, it was just debauchery. It just was, and then and then Sanzo's comment, I think, was something along the lines of that was a low class. Uh, uh, hang on, what exactly was his comment? Oh, I don't remember. It hang on, really I'm looking at it, it right now. Get it. It's, uh, he goes, shut up, that's every man's dream. And there goes, Sanzo says, talk about a cheap ass dream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So Sansa's sass, man. I love Sansa's sass. Uh, yeah, they wrote him just right because that's the perfect Sansa response too. His oh, his sass is what makes him. Anyway, but I think the cutest part was that there was a there was a comment on there about how um, about um, oh, what was it? It's uh, a so, pretty this, lady, right? Yeah, something about sitting with a pretty lady. Oh, oh yeah. So what I got from that, I have to go back and look at the exact. Is yeah, hang title? on, I'm looking. Yeah, but it was, I want to give, a, take a ride oh. or give a ride. You got the, you have it? Yeah, I want to give, I want to give a pretty lady a ride. Yeah, yeah. So and like, they thought it was Gojo. <laughs> yeah, Goku's like, Gojo, did you write too? And Gojo's like, I didn't write that. And they're like, well, who the hell else would write this? And, it, and at the bottom, there's a little stamp and it's Jeep's footprint. It was so cute. Yeah, so Jeep's outside, outside honking the horn. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to give a pretty lady a ride. That's and it, it, oh yeah, you know I won't I won't go into what I mentioned <laughs> earlier about about the whole riding thing. Yeah, uh, but probably, <laughs> probably the wrong podcast channel for that. No, yeah, no, 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 just, no. Just because uh, <laughs> it's a spoiler for Jeeves, so I won't. I, I know won't. I'm just giving you a hard time. <laughs> I, like, but I do, I do like. Do, do you remember? Do you remember what Gojo's uh, gave the wish for Sansa was? Uh, yeah, basically to uh, to stave off baldness or how to prevent baldness. May my baldness be cured. Yes, may my baldness be cured. I'm glad you have the exact translation there. It's so great. And then, of course, Sanzo shoots the wish. Shoots the yeah. wish out of Gojo's hand. So It was great. It was oh, great. my God. So, yes, so thank you for this gift, Urasai, again. We missed you so much, honestly. Oh, God. I'm going to say you in general. I know. It was one of my five. favorite things about Reload was the Rosai. I know. It was so good. It's, and uh, we're, I'm hoping that a particular chapter, if it doesn't get an episode, I'm hoping at least we get an Urasai <laughs> for it. I won't go into details. All right. We'll save um, that but, one. I know exactly what you're talking about, though. It's amazing. And I, I I have a mighty need to see it animated. A mighty need. And a lot of people do. I think every time we talk about this topic, either on Tumblr or Discord or wherever, it's that one always comes up as, hey, we need no make for that. Yeah, and, we need something. Yeah, got to have a thing. If you're going to have a filler episode... I don't, they couldn't, they couldn't make that a whole an episode. But if you're gonna do a thing where you have filler like that, that should be involved, right? Yes. Like don't don't do the bears. Do do the the, the canonical <laughs> filler stuff <laughs> first. Um, yeah. So, all right. Uh, with that said, I do have one ahead. disappointment though. <gasps> oh, I'm afraid. What are you gonna say? Why was the episode preview so short? <laughs> That's what I was going to say, too. Yeah, so 
for you guys that don't know, we have a lovely little outline document that we put together, even though we're all over the place when we do our recordings. Um, and one of the topics was next episode preview. And yeah, there's nothing to say. It was like two seconds of a preview and no context. And are you there, Nikki? Yeah. No, I'm just. <laughs> I heard my thought, like, my she, brain she gone. literally fuzzed out for a moment because <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out. The only thing that we got mm. was cloud mirror cloud and i'm mirror. like what does it mean yeah we're lost so if anybody knows anything about what cloud mirror could possibly mean in the context of sayuku i would love to hear it yeah um, i looked i looked for a journey to to the west and i tried to see if cloud mirror the only thing that came up with some kind of service for you know cloud service but that's not what we're looking <laughs> no, for no definitely not and see i was confused because i i was almost certain that sky burial was going to be the next chapter and mm-hmm. sky burial is definitely different from cloud mirror like there is no chapter called cloud mirror yeah and the only thing that kind of stuck in my mind and i don't think it's going to be the case was kanzian has a pool that she uses to look down on the lower world yeah and i was thinking maybe something with that but that doesn't really uh, make sense to me either so i i kind of saw i kind of thought that too like cloud is in the heavens and and, and the mirror in the like past mirror, but it's really a, yeah i don't know like, that's probably a stretch honestly yeah but we already know gaiden is definitely going to be included mm-hmm. um i mean you could see it in the opening and the ending and yeah. oh speaking oh i you know, we, we we already talked about we about the opening, but can I just say the fact that there is a moment in the opening with Goku reaching out to Nataku? I'm just like, yes. oh no, mm, mm. Yes. and I won't say anything about it because of major spoilers. But it's mm. super major spoiler. But I, I was so not expecting yeah. that in the opening. I was recording when I was I, so. This will also be posted later today, uh, so you can laugh at me or whatever. But I did. I rec- I recorded a live reaction to this, and that was the part where I'm like, oh, "Did you see Nataku? Did you see?" <laughs> you know, because uh, it was it was good. It was like the that shot from that spoiler, which we brought up in other podcasts. So if you're interested in that, feel free uh, to look into that. But yes, yes, I'm I'm there with you, Nikki. I'm, yeah, I'm that was definitely a surprise. I mean, that and the fact that I, I uh, I'm, it's in the opening, but the thing, like, everybody has their sad flashbacks in the opening. I'm like, oh my yes, god. They are did, basically yes. overloading it with fan service and feels. Yeah. Okay, what are the three? Fan service, feels, and what would be another F? <laughs> because that's podcast the three. podcast again. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> is, you just took it the wrong way. <laughs> no, I was going to say you know, not that kind of F, but, uh, you know, when you mess around, it's something with a URI on the end, but whatever. <laughs> anyway, uh, like just general yeah, messing no, like around. The fan service feels <laughs> and fighting. Fan fighting, service fighting, feels and fighting. Fight. That's yes. the three Fs of Sayuki. Yes. Fan service feels and fighting. Done. I can't believe I didn't Boom. think of fighting. Where's my brain? I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, you, you just need to watch the episode again. I know. I think my just... brain is still so scrambled. Just because everybody has been so hype about it and just all morning long, too. Because, again, we're on this Discord server. And so everyone's, like, spamming chat. Like, ah, it's coming. Dude, it and was... They're doing countdown. It was very kind of crazy. Oh, the, the energy was through the roof. Yeah, it was great to see though. It was very exciting to see how and we had people showing up on Tumblr and making posts and things there and in Discord, there's new people showing up. There's people that Dude. haven't been around for a while that are showing up again. So it's exciting yeah. to see that people I was worried that there wasn't enough hype. So I'm hoping that we keep that train rolling. Yes. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, so uh we're recording this pretty much right after watching the episode, so more to come on that. I'm sure we'll have additional impressions and things to talk about that we can share with you later. Yeah. Um, Simuldub? So, yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So uh, Funimation announced a Simuldub for Seiki Reload Blast, and they haven't announced, as of this moment, <laughs> maybe they're tweeting it right now, they haven't announced the cast for that, though. And so... Uh, Nikki, you're more, I'm, I'm definitely a fan of the original, uh, Japanese actors they use. Um, but I also like to, to the Genso, uh, the Genso Modern sub, or sorry, dub, I really enjoyed as well. 
And uh, so we were hoping some of the cast would come back, in particular your boy Goku, Greg mm -hmm. Ayers, right? Oh, Greg. I'm also super excited if David Tronga. So the reason we mention those two is that they're active. They yes. do a lot of dubbing still to this day. Um, now we know the actor for Gojo is not going to be involved. Uh, he That's Illich Guardiola. He's now problematic, which I won't go into, so feel free to, to look that up on your own. Um, the actor for Hakai, who had kind of mixed uh, reviews anyway, Braden Hunt, I believe his name, isn't really so. involved much in dubbing, so I don't know if he would be involved. Um, but then we have other people like Vic uh, Mick Lasagna. I can't ever say his name properly, so I'm just going to call him Vic, uh, is the voice of Kogaji. Don't know. Again, we, we have no idea who is going to be on that cast, so excited to hear about that. Do you have any ideas, thoughts if on that? I if I recall, somebody in the Discord chat said that Greg Aries actually works for Funimation. He does, and, yeah. And he has made it very clear that Goku is one of his favorite characters. Absolutely. Too. It was his first, as I, if I recall correctly, I believe Goku was actually his first major dubbing role, period. Yeah, so, major role, yeah. Yeah, definitely one of his favorites. And uh, he's still to this day, like, he, he has a Facebook page and whatnot that he maintains, his Twitter and stuff. He tweets about Goku from time to time. He posts, cost, like, Sayuki cosplay, Goku cosplay pictures all the time on his Facebook page. Like that is his baby essentially. So <laughs> I'm super hype. I really hope that he gets tapped for that, knowing him and his relationship with Funimation and the whole thing. I I think it, it I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen, but I think I'm waiting pretty, for them to announce it. Yeah. I think it's pretty likely because everyone on Twitter is basically like, Greg, Greg, him, please, yes. you say something and he's been silent. I feel like he I'm hoping he's just holding back. Like, he's not allowed to say, yeah, I'm in. Like, right. I'm, because I feel like if it was a no, he'd be like, hey, dudes, now, nah, sorry, they haven't approached me. I'm hoping that they've, they've talked to him and said, hey, we know you've been Goku in the past. Or I hope he's gone to them and said, hey, I know you're simul dubbing, and let me tell you, I know somebody who dubbed Goku originally, and he's still active. <laughs> me! It's me! It's yes. Me. And I know... Um, like for me, Greg and David did really, really good in Gensa Modern. Yes, I love them both. And so if much. I recall, also somebody said Greg is pretty much the reason Gaiden got dubbed. Oh, I hadn't heard that. So that's yeah, interesting. They, they, bas he ba they basically said he got everyone together and wanted to dub Gaiden. And I yeah, was like, oh, that's. Yeah. And that, because apparently, like, Brayden, like, Psyche was, like, he, he enjoyed it, but it wasn't, like, his thing. He doesn't. So yeah, he's not really a dubbing person at all. Like, he was only in a few things ever. Uh, and then, so he was in nothing. If you look at his, his history, like his discography or whatever they call it, filmography, it, it's this huge gap where it's like Sayuki and like some other anime and then like nothing, 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 nothing. And then Gaiden. <laughs> so like they just went and tapped him out of the void, you know? Um, and I think Illich Gojo at the time was still like kind of doing work, but he wasn't, I didn't think he was that active around that time either, but this was before like things went down and he's no longer going to be dubbing stuff. Yeah, he's not, active. Right? he's not active anymore, basically. Yeah, he's no longer active. Um, I mean, and Vic, he's been active. Vic's in everything. He's in everything. He is in Vic, everything. Vic, you will see him. I, I, I don't mind if he's in there. I know some people are, like, they some hear Some people think he's problematic or, like, doesn't, the way that he interacts with fans, they have issues with. I'm not getting into that. That's not my discourse, even. Like, I don't know. I don't want to go, I, there's no hill I want to die on for that one. So... It, it, all, all I care about is please bring Greg in. Please. Yes. Greg please. and my also boy. David, too. Please. Greg, David, Dave, Greg and David, if you're hearing this, we think you guys did <laughs> fabulous on Gensamaden. If you guys can somehow get into Simul Dub, come on. You guys, you, you know you love this series. I know. And I really hope they have it on lockdown already. Like, this is pretty yeah. much how when they were announced. What about for on free, Gun Lockdown? Oh, get the <laughs> get out! Okay, you, anyway, you I'm almost sorry. made me swear. I need to. I'm trying I, to keep this PG thirteen. I, I heard it. <laughs> I'm trying to keep this 
family friendly, you know, at least PG-13 friendly. Um, I, I feel like it's now my my job to have a terrible pun in every podcast. Oh, now. God. I'm usually the pun <laughs> person, so please. <laughs> Okay, anyway, but yes, please, if you guys, if you guys are somehow listening to this, again, loved your voice acting, you got, you guys did great in Gensamod, and you were perfect in Gaiden, it would be so awesome to have you guys back, um, you know, yeah, 12, look, there's 12, it's only 12 episodes, it's it's not that long, I mean, I'm sure they already have this stuff figured out, because they announced the simuldub, I I'd actually I if anybody knows this or I need to do some research today like this today's been really chaotic all right uh trying to figure out slept. how long it's gonna, <laughs> uh, yeah you've been up all night I saw you were streaming and some other stuff so <laughs> after this she needs to go to bed for a little bit maybe, maybe. well yeah because then we got we, we're watching it again later oh that's right Twice. yeah yeah I'm ex- I don't care I'll watch it again I'm excited just all day long 24 all hours day stream. all day this is this is gonna be my life every Wednesday every <laughs> Wednesday like next week I have work, but luckily this airs before I go to work. So it's literally going to be like, all right, time to get ready for work. Get, you know, get my hair pulled up. You know, do, <laughs> get a couple things done. Eleven o'clock, Down spam crunchy room. roll. We're doing Where's it. Where's my episode? Get in the room. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> what was it? Toilet. Oh, the simul dub. <laughs> I totally yes. forgot what I was saying. Okay, the simul dub, the thing that I don't know, and I am hoping to find it very soon, is how long of a delay between episodes. So uh, yeah. I, I was trying to base it on Yuri on Ice, and I can't base it on Yuri on Ice because Yuri on Ice is such an outlier for this sort of thing. Yeah, no, you but, can't. Uh, so they had Yuri on Ice, I think, aired on Tuesday or Wednesday, and they had the simul dub, I believe, the following Monday. So it was a pretty short lead time there. But depending on what it is, the simul dubs come out in different times. Like, for example, Attack on Titan, which this is Attack on Titan. So again, you can't really use that as a comparison. But they, it comes out, I think, with something like uh, within 24 hours, they had the simul dub released. So uh, obviously, they had access to, they probably had, they would have had to have access to. Uh, all the files to to do the dubbing and everything ahead of time, right? Um, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know how long it's actually going to be until the first simul dub comes out. But of course, that'll be on Funimation. So we have Crunchyroll for your simulcast, and then you're going to have Funimation for your simul dub. Um, two great services, though. I highly recommend both. Actually, I love them. They're great. Um, they also work really well with the mobile devices, and they also work really well with Chromecast, which is what I usually use, um, and Roku too, if I believe, or if I recall. I know Crunchyroll definitely works well with Roku. I can't remember Funimation, but Chromecast, thumbs up all the way for how they work. Um, was there anything else you want to talk about? Um, Just that we're excited, and we really hope you go watch it and yeah, get excited uh, with us. I think like Crunchyroll gets it 30 minutes, ba- uh, pretty much 30 minutes after it airs. I don't know when non-premiums will get to watch it. Um, I'm being very careful not to post spoilers to my blog, Set and Tai Say. Mm-hmm. Um, at least at least 24 hours, at least because I know you know some people do not want to be spoiled until they watch the episode. So I'm yeah, going to be very and, careful. And you're always good about tagging it too. So this is one of the things. If people, Tumblr folks, if you're listening to this. Do everybody a favor and please spoiler tag your stuff. It's great to post content about new anime and things that are coming out, but not tagging it's kind of rude. So please yeah. put a spoiler tag on your stuff. Just spoiler or Sayuki spoiler Something even. Something so, to yeah. say spoiler in Just, your tags so that people yeah. who don't want to see that stuff. Because that's kind of how I feel with a lot of the, the shows and things that I watch is that I will avoid social media for 24 hours or whatever I need until I can watch the thing because I can't deal with the Tumblr spoilers or Facebook spoilers or whatever, Uh, Twitter. Um, So you just kind of have to avoid things. So I get, it's like, yeah, you have to have a certain amount of like self-control, but hey, if you're posting content and you're really excited, like just slip a little spoiler tag in there. It's, it's, it won't harm anything, you know? Exactly. But yeah, so I do appreciate that you do that, Nikki. Yeah, I tag pretty much, I tag almost everything so that, like, especially things that I repost, I will try to put a tag with it, and I tell people, if you, like, I, I pimp out the Discord 
all the time. Yeah. But I specifically have a tag for it called Sayuki Discord that I tell people, I know you're probably tired of seeing this, but please just blacklist it. You know, it's I, I will always tag it. Um, yeah, so we'll we'll be very careful with spoilers. Um, just also because later in the season, there's going to be some pretty heavy stuff that happens. And a spoiler tag is going to pretty much be like this episode. Eh, I mean, you know, there, like, there's some stuff that happens in the opening and the ending that are pretty spoilerific. But there's some stuff that's going to happen later that it would be terrible if people were just browsing through their timeline and looking at stuff. And all of a sudden, big spoiler. Here it is. Yeah, exactly. Like, there you go. A, yeah. a, a crazy thing has happened, and you didn't even get a chance to watch the episode yet. Some right. people, I personally don't mind spoilers, but I know some people, like, it will ruin their day. They get Do really not ruin upset. somebody. Day. Yes. Do yes. not ruin someone's day. Be a good fan. Be, be a good, be a fan. good person. Yes. Be a good person. Don't text your friend with spoilers. <laughs> Unless they've watched it already. Right. If exactly. Then, it, yeah. then, then you just spam away. Spam away. Um, but anyway, I don't know why this got into like me preaching about spoilers tags. No, I'm it's sorry. Important, though. No, it's important. <laughs> well, it's, it's the same thing with um, it's the same thing with the manga. Like we mm -hmm. we're. We're very careful not to post manga spoilers, like on Tumblr There's or definitely in, uh... people that are behind. Yeah, so yeah. we don't want to discourage them. But yeah, the stuff it's... you mentioned in the opening, at least with that, it's out of context. You might see a character. There's a couple of characters in there that they haven't introduced yet. And you're like, oh, well, who's that? But they do that with pretty much all anime openings, so I'm not super concerned because you don't get context, right? So, but yeah, they did include things from past events. Um, so there's definitely some assumption that you have some familiarity, but if you don't, feel free to, to watch Nikki's awesome primer, do a little Ooh. plug, yay. yay. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I don't know, I think that might be it, Nikki, what do I you think, say? I, I think that's it, uh, I mean, we, we had intended this to be a short in impression, but I think we got so excited it went a little longer, but I, I think that's <laughs> fine. I think you can't contain the hype for this, it's for this true. series. Um, but yeah, we'll do, um, we'll have another podcast. There's basically the merch train hasn't stopped and we have to talk about that next yeah, time. It's never it's, ending. It's never ending. Um, but yeah, we have more stuff that we'll talk about with Mari. Um, so yeah, yeah I, I think, think we're going to have to do a top five or six merch thing, but yeah, the merch. And then also I just want to call this out self plug for, um, the next podcast. I want to talk about bullets mm -hmm. the the musical sort of thing it's it's not a musical but anyway that'll be it, next it's time. like it's like it's they're they're mini shorts yeah I mean, it's, like mini short haha <laughs> we, uh, we got it and i watched it with a couple people and it's it's i can't even speak it's wonderful so i would love to talk to you about it <laughs> sometime in the near future and a quick plug for those of you who maybe are watching this for the first time and you're wondering, hey, where can I read the Sayuki manga? Uh, Project Kurai Ryu has the Sayuki Reload Blast scans. I mean, you can be, you know, sailing the seven seas to find the other chapters, but if you can purchase them, they are, in fact, on Amazon still, uh, except the 10th volume because it is apparently like a mermaid and just doesn't exist. Uh, yeah, I was going to say the unicorn, like a unicorn mermaid, maybe. It's, it's un that it's rare. A, so a narwhal? Oh, damn. That's a real animal, though. So we can't I say know. that. I <laughs> know. It's a dragon unicorn. Uh, yes. A sure. dragacorn. A dragacorn. A dragacorn. I drew a dragacorn today, actually. It was beautiful. Anyway, but yeah. <laughs> project... I'll show it to you later. No, I, I, you know what? Hang I need on. to see a dragacorn because I can't imagine this. You can't imagine it. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever drawn. Oh, I'm so blessed. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, we one. need to, we need to, um, what do you call it? <laughs> Their Project Cry Ryu. I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, oh, I'll get the PKR link in the description again. Let's see. I think that was it. <laughs> I was trying to make sure we didn't miss anything. I think we're good. I don't think there was. I kept thinking. I'm trying to think if there was anything else in the back of my mind that we needed to mention. But no, I think. Uh, uh, oh yeah, I remember exactly what I was gonna say. Uh, we didn't mention it at the beginning of this episode, but down in the description, if you want to follow some Sayuki blogs, we will post those down in the descriptorino, mm -hmm. and you can give us a follow, 
and uh, we post a lot of Sayuki stuff. So yeah, we'll definitely keep you busy and keep you informed. I think it's time to say our goodbyes. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, guys. Thanks Thank for listening. For... Yeah, thanks for listening. We'll see you at the next podcast. <laughs>